name. The Bible makes us to understand that God told Israel that you are going to Babylonian captivity for 70 years and after 70 years there will be deliverance. But the Bible says that after the 70 years the Israelites were still in captivity. If they had not prayed, if Daniel had not stepped in to pray and interceded, that it would have been going on because after 70 years they were still in bondage. God told Abraham, your descendants are going to be in Egypt in slavery for 400 years. After 400 years, they, are, they will come out. The Bible says that 430 years, Israel was still in slavery. But the Bible makes us to understand that they began to cry out to God. And then God brought in a deliverer, Moses, to deliver them. If you don't open your mouth to pray, if you don't open your mouth to speak, nothing will happen. And things will stay the same the same as they are year in and year out and you'll be singing Christmas carols um, just buying things and yet the destiny is not realized there comes a time when you have to say enough is enough Lord I want to see destiny purpose fulfilled because all our lives is oriented in purpose and destiny the Bible says that before you were born in your mother's womb God had a plan and God had a purpose for you and the plan and the purpose God has for you and I are good and not evil, are good and not evil to bring us to an expected end. So you have entered the reason why God allowed you to enter into the year 2012 and did not kill you in 2011 or allow you to die in 2011 is because he had a purpose and a plan for you. So yours is to open your mouth. Without you opening your mouth to speak, to talk, to pray, nothing happens. In the beginning, the Bible says that the world, the whole world was formless. Darkness had filled the whole entire world. And God spoke. Until God spoke, the world was still filled with chaos. God had to speak and say, let there be. If you refuse to speak, things will stay the same way as they are in your marriage things will stay the same way as they are in your educational pursuit eh, with your children with your finances nothing will change until you begin to speak and that's why tonight we have come on this prayer line to speak out to pray it says that call unto me and i will answer you and show you great and mighty things the bible says that be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will keep your heart and mind. You have to open your mouth and speak. You have to open your mouth and pray. You have to open your mouth and travail in order to prevail. You have to be persistent in order to overcome resistance. When we refuse to open our mouth to cry out, then we keep on repeating the same thing going on again, the same cycle, the same reoccurrences, the same cycle going on. We are always experiencing the same and we are crying and we are uh, murmuring and we are blaming God. You don't have to blame God. God wants you to speak. He had to speak to let things happen. The Bible makes us to understand that when Ezekiel saw the dry bones, the dry bones were still dry and were still helpless and hopeless until God told Ezekiel to prophesy to it. Until Ezekiel spoke, the dry bones remained as they were. Until you and I begin to pray and speak out and tell the Lord to change our situation like Jabez, nothing changes. So tonight is a privilege for you and I to have come before the presence of the Almighty God, the one who is able to change the destinies of mankind, the one who has the power to change human personalities. There are people probably you are dealing with who you can't change. And they seem not to get what you are trying to drive out to them. It could be your husband or your wife. It could be your manager or your co-workers. It could be your child. You are trying to say something to them, but they cannot hear. They, cannot, they are not listening. They are not paying heed. But we have a God who has the power to control the heart of mankind. And so when you come before this God, you know that you can control situations. God can control the animate and inanimate. He is able when um, Joshua prayed, he was able to command the sun and the moon to stand still 
and the sun and the moon obeyed Joshua because Joshua spoke out. Jesus Christ spoke to the fig tree and cursed it. And because he spoke, the fig tree was cursed. One time he was in a boat and there, there was a boisterous storm about to destroy him and the disciples. The disciples were complaining and wailing like some of us are doing. But Jesus Christ rose up and spoke to the storms and the wind and said, Be still, be still. And the, st uh, the storms and the boisterous wind obey the voice of God. It is time for you to speak. It is time for you to pray. It is time for you to change situations by confessing your faith, confessing the promises of God by praying. It is time for us to travel if you really want to prevail. Nothing changes until man begins to pray. And God will not come down to do anything until we get him engaged through prayers. Nothing happens until you pray. So you can be complaining, you can blame God. The Bible says that you are suffering and why you are suffering is because of your ignorance of what God has to do and which you, you are not causing him to do. For lack of knowledge, my people perish. If we become ignorant of the devices of the enemy, if we continue to be ignorant and we don't pray, then the devil will always have the upper hand and we will be at the disadvantage because we are just ignorant. But when you begin to understand the ways of God and the ways of engagement in battle, you don't just stay still, you begin to speak. And that's when things begin to happen. So tonight you have come upon Mount Zion again and we have come to pray. We have come to seek the face of the Lord. We have come that God's will and God's purpose may be established in our lives. So to the first part of this prayer time is going to be a time of breaking people free from cages. Breaking people free from every satanic. Hi, this is some quick announcement. Um, join us every Tuesdays and Fridays for the conference prayer on the prayer line every Tuesdays from 10 p.m. Eastern Time we meet. Eastern Time is 10 p.m. Um, Central Time is 9 p.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time is 8 p.m. and Pacific Time is 7 p.m. We meet every Tuesday for prayers so make sure you join us a lot of people watch the prayers on YouTube however they don't know that we do meet live every Tuesdays and Fridays so Tuesdays we meet 10 p.m. Eastern Time 9 p.m. Central Time 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time and 7 p.m. Pacific Time and on Friday that's just for one hour on Tuesdays. We meet just for one hour on Tuesday, um, Tuesdays. However, on Friday, it's our deliverance, miracle, and healing prayers. So if you want deliverance, miracle, and healing, you can join us on the conference call live on Fridays also, which is three hours. And we meet 11, uh, 11 p.m. Eastern Time. 10 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and 8 p.m. Pacific Time. So on Fridays is our deliverance, healing, and miracle uh, prayers, and it's for three hours. So make sure you join us. I repeat again, Fridays is 11 p.m. We start at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and 8 p.m. Pacific Time. So do join us and the number you you have to call is 559-726-1200, 559-726-1200 and the access code is 950014-POUND, 950014-POUND. Join us on Tuesdays and Fridays for prayers. Tuesdays is one hour, Fridays is three hours. And you will 
be blessed also if you are you want to join us through uh, and you are calling from outside of the United States you can also call us use your Skype the Skype my Skype is Kboache K-A-Y-B-O-A-C-H-I-E K-A-Y-B-O-A-C-H-I Skype is also a, an easy way if you are having a long distance call you can use the Skype to have access to the live conference also for those of you who for some reason cannot be on the phone but you want to hear the live or the pre-recorded version of the prayers you can now go to blog talk radio and also watch us uh, or listen to the prayers if you want to just listen to it and still do what you have to do because some of you may be working and want to still hear what's going on you can go to www blogtalkradio.com slash kweku and the kweku is k-w-a-k-u and the boache is b-o-a-c-h-i so www.blogtalkradio.com slash kweku boache k-w-a-k-u that's the kweku and the boache is b-o-a-c-h-i um, all this information if you want to get it you can email me at ookakju55 at yahoo.com ookakju55 at yahoo.com and I can send you this information or Facebook me on K K A Y B and the last name is Boachi B O A C H I K Boachi K K A Y B O A C H I E or you can call me and I'll give you the information on 443-975-5303. I'll, sure, I'll leave all this information at the end of this message. I'll write it down so that you can um, see it again. Also, you can check us on our website if you want more information about the things I've already given you. And our website is www freshfireprayer.com our website is www.freshfireprayer www.freshfireprayer.com and all this information are out there for you to get access to also for those of you who are living in Maryland, Virginia, Baltimore and close by um, from the year 2013 the first Sunday we are now will be meeting regularly every Sunday every Sunday 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. for prayers so it's called an, the hour of power prayers hour of power prayers and an intensive prayers and you can come in and come in expecting anything because I believe that prayers covers all things so if you want healing deliverance uh, restoration miracles if you want to be revived you if you want to get yourself empowered in prayers to get the presence of God to move in the next level with your relationship with Jesus Christ through prayers join us every Sunday 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. and the location is in uh, Walker Mills Baptist Church Walker Mills Baptist Church and the address is 6801 6801 Walker Mills Road the Walker is just walking Walker W A L K G R Walker Mills M I L L Road it is in Capital Heights Capital height C A P I T A L and the height is H E I G H T S Capital Height Maryland and the zip code is two zero four two zero seven four three two zero seven four three so join us every Sunday up in the year two thousand and thirteen moving forward every Sunday 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. and the location is Walker Mills Baptist Church located in 
6801 Walker Mills Road, Capital Heights, Maryland 20743. That is where we will be meeting. So join us and you will be immensely blessed. I also want to let you know that in the year 2013, we will be having three major meetings. And the first one, the first meeting will be held in February 15th to 17th and it's called the hour of power the hour of power with Jesus Christ you no know, meeting or conference or where we meet uh, and and everybody's open um, is welcome to join us it's more or less like a revival or a, I wouldn't say revival with fresh fire ministry we believe in getting yourself revived every day so it is a time where we meet to have intensive fellowship on the, our first meeting god willing will be on february 5th fe, um, february 15th to 17th from friday to sunday the monday is going to be a holiday and now I, I can say for certain that um, this meeting the first one um those of you having challenge with pregnancy come in and let's believe god because once you come in and we pray we believe god that by the end of the year god will open up your womb it's also going to be a time for people who are singles and want to get settled coming it is it's for everybody it's for everybody but if you are if you find yourself with um barrenness or you are looking for to settle maritally uh, i recommend you also come in and as we we do intensive prayers and also if you need if you want to go to the next level in your prayer life and in your relationship with jesus christ through prayers i will advise you to come because it will be a time for healing deliverance restoration of marriages we'll cover everything we'll cover everything but i advise i, I admonish singles and the barren also to make sure they show up so that they will be blessed but if you want to go to the next level in your ministry, uh, it's a non a, a fresh farm ministry, it's non denominational. So if you're a prophetess, you're a pastor, you're a apostle, whatever, and you want to go to the next level in your prayer life, I believe that an hour of power with Jesus Christ meeting will help you that by the time you go back, you'll be carrying the power of God to go and revive and also take your ministry to the next level. So I welcome you. February and our meeting place I believe will be at Walker Mills Baptist Church 6801 Walker Mills Baptist Church it is the address is 6801 Walker Mills Road Capital Heights MD 20743 the same location you can find this information in our website which is www.freshfire prayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com so that you can know what's taking place and our next meeting will be on may hour of power whereby it's open to everybody hour of power with jesus christ the meetings the crusade or the conference is open to everybody uh, if you are even out of state the next one will be may 24th may to 26th 24th to 26th from friday to sunday and the Monday is holiday and also come in and you'll be blessed and the last one will be in October 11th to October 13th October 11th to October 13th and the Monday uh, Friday to Sunday and the Monday is a holiday and for now all the meeting place I know for now is in the Walker Mills Baptist Church which is located in 68 6801 6801 Walker Mills Road Capital Heights Maryland 20743 For, uh, to make sure you you know the date and the location is right make sure you frequent our uh, website to make sure that you update yourself and if you have any questions about this um, conferences and this crusades and uh, Call me on 443-973. Let me repeat. 
973-945-5303 Call me and um, ask me about the, the details of these meetings and I'll let you know or you can email me on OOKAKU55 at yahoo.com OOKAKU55 at yahoo.com or you can Facebook me at K the first name is K K A Y K A Y the last name is Boachi B O A C H I E you can Facebook me and ask me and if you are willing to come also send me an email and let me know you are coming or Facebook that you are coming I will also let you know where to get accommodation it is free it is free but you have to be prepared to get a place to rent to sleep during the um, three days program and I tell you the truth you will not wait your coming to these programs because in the year 2013 we are moving into the deeps we are moving into the deeps and a lot of things will be happening in our in this time in this year and we have to hold on to God through faith and believe God the Bible says that the just shall live by faith the just shall live by faith and those who know their God they shall be strong and they shall do exploit the Bible says that on the face of the earth there shall be gross darkness there shall be darkness on the face of the earth but arise and shine for your light is come so I believe these meetings are when we we'll call upon the name of the Lord to save us to help us to help us to be able to fulfill his purpose for us in the year also if you are interested in getting the book spiritual diagnosis which deals with helping you to diagnose some of the problems you are going through generational cases breaking jukes breaking yourself from the spirit of Leviathan or serpent you know, all these deliverance prayers and all those things you can order spiritual diagnosis some of you are going through so many problems and you don't even know where the problem is coming from spiritual diagnosis will help you to diagnose the problem you are going through and most of my prayers is the prayers we do on Fridays and Tuesdays is channeled on deliverance and spiritual diagnosis so if you get a book it will help you to diagnose to locate to discover what is really wrong with the foundations of your problem so that when you are praying you pray right many people are praying and are still in problem because they are not praying the right prayers or are not locating the right source of problem you know so buy the book spiritual diagnosis it's ten dollars but with shipping and everything fifteen dollars and I'll send you the book um, if you want you are interested in the spiritual diagnosis book you can email me OOKAKU55 at yahoo.com and let me know and I'll send you a copy I'll let you know how you can pay for it the email is OOKAKU55 at yahoo.com or you can Facebook me at K K A Y B O A C H I E. K is the first name K A Y. The last name is Boachi B O A C H I E. And I'll get you the information. However, make sure if you are in Maryland, Virginia, Baltimore, DC, join us every Sunday from in the year 2013 from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. in Walker Mills Baptist Church. 6801 Walker Mills Road, Capital Heights, Maryland, 20743. That's the zip code, 20743. I'll write all the information out there so that you can join us and you'll be blessed. Join us also on Tuesdays and Fridays and you'll be blessed. And if you have a, an emergency, you can also give me a call on 443-975-5303. However, if you call and you don't get me, leave a message or call back. Try and call back. We have a lot of people calling me and sometimes I'm not able to get hold on them on timely fashion. But keep on calling. And if you don't get me, make sure you join us on Tuesdays and Fridays. You always get me. Or if you are around the area, join us on Fridays and you get me. And then I can be of great help to you. But your main helper is our Lord Jesus Christ. Develop a life of prayer for yourself the key to success 
in deliverance, breakthrough, healing, and getting connected is consistency and persistence. You have to be consistent and you have to be, have a persistent, consistent prayer life. And then you can have victory over the enemy. I wish you all the best and I wish you the Lord's blessing and may the Lord keep you. Remember Jesus Christ is on his way and is coming soon. He will take us by surprise. Nobody knows the day or the time is coming and his coming will interrupt with your schedule and my schedule. So make sure that every single day of your life you are ready for Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, then this is the time for you to accept him into your life as your Lord and personal Savior so that you will not be left behind. If you are a Christian, this is the time for you to hold on tight to Jesus because he is coming. The days of hypocrisy, wishy washy roller coaster Christianity is over. Make sure you worship him in truth and in spirit and you separate yourself from the world. Separate yourself from your sins and with your things that are weighing you down and work with God. Without holiness, nobody can see God. This is a call for this end time. Our redemption door at night and we have to lift up our heads and wait patiently for the manifestation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Those who have Jesus will have life, have life and have life much more abundantly. Those who have rejected Jesus Christ are already condemned. In this year that we are, have entered in 2013 moving forward, great tribulations lies ahead of the world. It will only take those who hold on to God who are going to survive. Those who depend on their own wisdom and intelligence and are already claim Christians and the things of God, they are going to be taken by, by surprise. Your help is in the Lord. So hold on tight to our Lord Jesus Christ and He will help you. When you call upon Him, He will answer you. But the Bible says that call upon the name of the Lord and you will be saved. Call, ask and it shall be given. Seek and it shall find knock and the door shall be opened unto you. So please, if you don't know Jesus, accept Him today. If you know Christ, hold on to Him and serve Him. Read your Bible, meditate on it, obey the word, shun evil, live a holy life, and don't play hypocrisy Christianity. Let Jesus Christ tell you, I know you not, you workers of iniquity. And you say, Jesus, didn't I prophesy, didn't I preach in your name, didn't I sing, <coughs> didn't I give you tight on offering? And you tell you, you workers of iniquities, even though you cast demons in my name, you are still living in sin. And you will... He will cut you into the lake of fire. Please don't let that be your portion. Don't let that be my portion. Let us worship God in truth and in spirit and live to magnify his name. Please. And keep the fire of the Holy Ghost burning through prayers and Bible studies and living right. May God bless you. Shalom.